We are deep in the bowels of an underhive in holy terror. An evil Jingsteel occult has infested the most holy place in the Imperium. Oh no, not my furnace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sacred furnace. I think this is where we send all like the documents. Oh, and, uh, you know <laughs> the emperor's tax return. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> just, there's just loads and loads of filing cabinets, and they're just shoveling paper into into this room. I've got this beautifully painted set of uh, gene stealers, which Thank uh, you. I feel like is a bit of stolen valor because it depends. <laughs> on me. So the gene stealers are reading all of the secret reports. Not cool. And Tom's painted uh, custodes. Custards. Customs. <laughs> what beautiful two Thank rippling you. You. men and ladies. We could be trusted to look at, you know, the tax returns. I see. <laughs> You're the auditors. Sure that it's all burnt properly. <laughs> yeah, right. Deep in this underhive, we've got the general purpose cargo bay room over here. Nice. With two objectives in, one on each side of the battlefield. And then over here in the other half of the board, it's the furnace itself. This room here with the slightly redder tiles. Now the two objectives in here are worth more points. Oh. They're much more valuable. But there's two control rooms here and here where another player can come and push the button and turn on the furnace and hurt everyone that's inside. These are the custodian guards. They are the Empress Finest. They are super killy. Uh, here are my Sisters of Silence. They are anti psychers and are armed with flamers. And they are led by my blade champion, Conan. Sneaking around the side is my Alaris Terminator. Uh, he is even tougher than my regular boys and is just here to purge heretics. And hanging out in reserve, I have two more Alaris Terminators who are waiting to just Ooh. burst through the ceiling. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers, <laughs> and purge the heretics. My guys are a lot less killy. I've got some acolytes with the snippy scissors. And then we got a squad of neophytes, uh, all got their mining lasers and their gear ready to turn on real metal. And we got a second squad of these lads. They're, they're pretty much chumps, but they move slow, so I need to get them on the field early. The bulk of my army is in reserve. So you deployed three units. I deployed three units. My units opened some doors. Let's go and open a door. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> there was one action, first blood, as uh, one of your Terminators. Yeah, he walked around the corner and- Fired a grenade. Open fired. He has two guns. He's got a little wrist-mounted grenade launcher, pew, 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 and his ax is also a gun. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best thing. Two wounds, it's minus three to your armor save. Ooh, they're not saving that. Because you have paper armor. Splat, splat. First blood, Tom. Two boys have died. Take that. Foul alien. It's fine. <laughs> Vile Xenos. Now it's the start of turn two, your reserves can come on. So I brought in another unit of hybrids here and I brought in my Biophagus, who's my, my wizard. I ran my um, my unit of hybrids through onto the point. I got a big advance roll. They got onto into the furnace room. Yeah, now, that was great. So mm -hmm. my first real turn, I got my two squads of boys and I opened up with some mining lasers. Okay, that is a lot of boys. So you got four dice and you're gonna need five to hit. No. Stand down! <laughs> so this guy, just lasers going around him. Blink, 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 blink. Uh, every single one missed. <laughs> but then I opened up with the web guns. Now, um, these guys have got um, a special kind of non-lethal weapon called a Weber which fires a web of monofilament goop that like pins people down so they can be arrested. It's like a riot control weapon. Okay. Which they've obviously repurposed. From the security guard. From the, the security place. guard placements. Yeah, exactly. Now, um, you're probably not gonna kill a custodian with it, but you might gum him up enough to like immobilize him and then you can run up and shiv him. To overpower him, you have to roll higher than his strength. Because if he rolls, if you're longer, he just... he's a big strong no, boy, no, no, he rips right. out of the Spider-Man. Uh, one. You got one! He gummed his arm to the wall. <laughs> yeah. oh. Gloop, 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 gloop. Yeah, gooped his, gooped his arm I to the wall. To, I managed to <laughs> fracture a bit of your arm and get a bit of, get, get a wound in, which I was delighted by. Uh, so that just deals a mortal wound. Mortal wound. wound. It completely ignores his incredible armor. Wow. Oof. That's what we needed. Not bad. And then lastly, none of these guys can shoot because they're all behind. 
Um, that guy can, that guy can. So you got like three auto guns that can shoot. Pink, 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 pink. <laughs> no fours. It's two hits. It's nice. Winning on fives. There's Ooh, one wound. It's a wound. I get a two up. Oh, I'm gonna say, I don't want your Xenos dice. Two up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh! oh! <laughs> As he was gone, he could protect himself. Ooh. Does he want to use a um, command point reroll on that? Oh, I know I'm going to be going through those rapidly later. You know what, I might actually do that. Faith uh, in the Emperor! Faith in my armor! He's going to turn, take it on the butt, and he's fine! <laughs> his Happily. faith is his shield! So that's the end of the Genius Stealers go. They've opened up, they've gummed up one Terminator, and they've got themselves in position onto two of the objectives. And yeah, I was, I was, I was poised and ready and bracing for the Custodies to come out of their hiding places. And um, yeah. and attack. And boy, did they attack. Oh yeah, they Oof. came out en force. I think one of them uh, is going to go here. So I have to deploy nine inches oh, away. Oh, interesting. Because normally you have to deploy yeah. uh, nine inches away, but because of the closed doors, I could actually deploy right next to you. And all he had to do was just rip that door open and instantly could be in combat. I didn't consider this as a, as a tactic. Because technically these guys are infinitely far apart because there's no there's direct no route. route to them. But he's going to come in there. Vile mm. aliens. Knock, knock. It's me. <laughs> Justice. Okay. You've got Terminators all over this joint. Yeah. It's going to be a bloodbath. They're here. Conan is going to kick open this door because he has the special power that's called Funny Doors. <laughs> that's actually called Expert Breacher. I call it Funny Doors. <laughs> uh, so he had a little trick where he could open a door and then move through it. Yeah. So most most of my stuff was moving up to doors and opening it and getting stuck there, whereas you were like hiding behind the door. He was there, ready cracked and it waiting. open and came barreling out. <laughs> I think I want to start with them. They are going to shoot them, that squad. They shot one of your squads, burnt it to pieces. That is a roasted unit. It was uh, disastrous, yeah. Weird. It got completely obliterated. The surprise Terminator, he's going to shoot your science nerd. Six up. He saves! Hey! Nice! Hit him in the backpack. Right off the science bits. <laughs> and then uh, Conan led the charge and just ran straight in there. Uh, I'm going to start out with Conan is going to charge into these vile aliens. This guy, he's going to try and charge. Now, because he's seen Conan charge in like a hero, that inspires him to want to run a little bit faster. <laughs> because of his special ability, which means that if he goes into a combat, other people, it's easier for them to charge into that combat. Yeah, you made that second charge uh, with the Terminator. Then it meant my Terminator could come in as well. That's the point where you made the choice to heroically intervene. You can heroically intervene with your Biophagus <laughs> at this point. <laughs> and like, effectively do a counter charge, which might be worth doing because you might be able to finish this guy off. He's already taken a wound. And you get away from that guy. Right, well, heroically, <laughs> heroically move forward, pretending that we've not felt the gunfire <laughs> slamming into our back. <laughs> oh, I love the idea that he didn't even know what he was trying. He was running away from the bullets. Oh, and then he was away. like, oh, <laughs> I guess I'm here now. I'm Rock helping. <laughs> I'm actually kind of worried about the bio figure, so I'm going to uh, chop him first. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start with this guy. He came in, some science dude ran up to him. I don't think that you have the correct paperwork for all of those chemicals, so feel the Emperor's Justice. Uh, that's yep. three wounds, it's minus two, and they're two damage each. Oh! Ooh. If you had one more point of armor, he'd be absolutely fine right so now. So in fact, wow. that doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, you don't get an armor save. That would have been a fucking miracle. <laughs> that would have been amazing, sadly. Oh. My dice want me to win this. <laughs> His, <do>. But it's <laughs> not... I feel so bad for him now. He's destined to live. See, I shouldn't have heroically invent intervened. <laughs> he got oh. chopped up to ch chopped to pieces immediately. Dr. Feelgood, he didn't really get to do anything this battle. He's got all sorts of chemicals and vials and buffing potions and he ran away from one Terminator and to get cut in half by the other Terminator. He was like, I'm being <laughs> shot in the back. I'll just fight this guy. Instantly. Everything was with him, bludgeoned. apart from the rules, which uh, shut him down. It turns out the axe is great at killing uh, science nerds. Without any <laughs> yeah. armor, yeah. Yeah, just and wearing a lab coat, it's not the one. Yeah, against the giant power armored axe held by a genetically engineered soldier. Yeah, that guy <laughs> went down very quickly. 
Right, my boy. My boy in the corner. Surprise! I'm here to bring the Emperor's Justice to you. And he um, killed four of them. Mm. He killed four of them. He just stabs one guy in the face, chops three up, and then just... Oof. This does mean that you can still leave your snipper, though. Only four That's of them That's true, died. the snipper is still going. Good. Uh, silver linings. Conan followed up with a hurricane whirlwind of doom. He then killed everything, <laughs> everything else <laughs> they had, yeah. which was amazing. So in, in one fell swoop, you had basically killed all of my stuff on this side of the room, uh, this side of the board, and it was like, oh my god. With a I'm sole survivor. With one, one fella still going. Mr. One Snips. survivor, yes. Mr. Snips. Mr. Snips. He was there, he was ready to snip. He was gonna be the hero that we needed. But yeah, for, like four, four of your units were basically, basically mm. gone at that stage. Yeah, it was really scary actually because I, I, I'd kind of been ambushed by the Terminators. Deep striking, I was like in, in disarray. It's looking pretty bleak. The cargo room is very much in the custodian's control. Mm. But the battle for the furnace continues. And that is the more important area. On top of turn three, I felt like there was an opportunity. Now I knew this side of the map was lost to really like capitalize on this side of the map with yeah. the furnace. So I had my boys, my my hybrids in there. They they put a little flag on the objective to so say mm -hmm. it was there. Very yeah. good. They installed their data stealing software, got it uploading. Exactly, they yeah, did. the little USB stick <laughs> in the back. And what that meant is even if they moved away, that objective would stay yours until Tom moved someone else up to it to take yeah. it back. Now, obviously, at this point, I hadn't brought in my big boy, the patriarch. Mm. He had been remaining in deep strike, ready to jump out. Yeah, I like to think well, he was skulking through the sewers, crawling through air ducts. Yeah, peeking his head up with like a grate resting on it and then coming back down. <laughs> My guy's just not noticing. Let's get him nine inches away through that door. I felt like I had no choice but to swarm, swarm your three um, custodies that were defending the objective in the furnace room. There was a big melee. Those three guys trapped in a corner defending their oh, objective with, with a wave of claws scrabbling at them. It would have been something out of like aliens or a yeah. space hulk. I would have put money on those custodians dying fast. Yeah, uh, between the gene stealers going in and the patriarch, they should have just obliterated them. Mm -hmm. But I got some pretty hot armor saves. I'm gonna command reroll to try and save a boy. He's good! Ooh, one less damage. Okay, so Shield Boy holds the line. And being able to use like an odd command point to re-roll a save, being able to keep someone alive really, really helped. Still, you survived one wound, Ooh. and three Gene Steelers died, but that gave Mr. Snips the chance to strike first. He got to get involved. Mr. Snips, what a boy! He needs fours to hit. He it's, hard. it's a big, heavy snipper. And then how much damage does it do? Three, so it's going to enough to kill. It's going to one shot him. <laughs> You're never going to get this. <laughs> That's a miss. That's right? a miss. But you can re-roll it. <laughs> okay, the strategist can. Final tiddly wink. <laughs> never going to. Has been spent. Never going to work. This tiddly wink, Mr. Snitch. Mr. Snitch. Not Mr. in a Snitch. million years. Mr. Snitch. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Two. Not a one. Mr. Snitch. Mr. Snitch. Yes. <laughs> Two. Uh... Is that enough? Is that enough? Well, Tom gets his invulnerable oh, save. Oh, you you're invulnerable. And if he fails this... So is it four up? Snip in time. It's a four up. <laughs> Easy. I need Something this. Like if you kill him, this the <laughs> furnace is being turned on, <laughs> and there's going to be a real bad smell in the <laughs> documents room. It's, Please don't kill Mr. Snips. It's totally fine. Mr. Snips, you're going down. Justice. Yay! Yay! Oh, no! Mr. Snips! Ow! What if yeah. the Terminators fell? I think that's, that was our proudest moment. Um, it was so heroic. The fact that Mr. Snips had actually killed that guy was a big problem, because I really thought I was going to kill him, and then we'd just walk and would leave a guy just pressing the button. <laughs> allowing just pressing my, the button. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just, just <laughs> And so it meant that I had to move my sisters up, and then they were going to go and press the button, because yeah. if we're playing a game where I can press a button and incinerate people, I'm not going to <laughs> yeah. not do that, right? You're, no, I mean, yeah. absolutely. It's... We can't play a game with a fire-filled furnace and not burn people. Not press yeah. the fire button. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so, committed their... Fire is their thing as well. I mean, they've got they love flamers. It. Yeah, yeah. big on to fire. It's just a big, a, a whole room of flame. Yeah. And so, yeah, they, they committed up there. 
but still held onto the objective with a bit of a daisy chain. Okay, well, he's gonna try and grenade launcher Mr. Snips. <gasps> oh, Mr. Snips. He has to face the Emperor of Justice, Ben. Uh, wounding on a three. Blam! Uh, <laughs> Minus Snips, a million. He wasn't <laughs> yeah. gonna say. Mr. Snips just fucking explodes. <laughs> I mean, he died doing what he loved. Snip it. <laughs> yeah. But his sacrifice cool. bought an extra turn of not being burned in the first. Yeah, which was pretty crucial, actually. So, do we want to start with the Gene Stealers or the Patriarch? I would argue the Patriarch probably does more damage, mm. but he's also tougher. He's so, not going to get one shot. Yeah, whereas the Gene Stealers might get cut to ribbons on the counter attack, so maybe you want to use them before they get hit. I think the Gene Stealers have to go first, yeah. Okay. I don't want them to all die before they get to attack. So they get four attacks each. So that just leaves you on 20, 20 dice. That's a um, lot of attacks, baby. They're hitting on twos. Feels bad. For the furnace, for the documents. <laughs> I hit you with uh, 18 of them. What the Oof. heck? That kills two of them. Who do you want to fight with? The Patriarch. Big fella. All hits. Five wounds. Okay. It doesn't matter if they're big or small, they, they will kill you regardless. This unit did nothing for a whole turn, wasn't interrupted. So that is now claimed. And you could walk away from it. Just Objective nice. secured. You're blocking the door. <laughs> this is the worst thing. <laughs> He's the, he is the door now. Blocking this door is like holding me in the furnace. I need to claim this objective, so let's get these two geniuses to hide behind the power, the stuck scrubbing documents. Here's the strat. Mm -hmm. We are trapped in the furnace. Mm -hmm. It's bad mm -hmm. news for us, but if we can get enough victory before we get burned to death. <laughs> well, first we need to fight our way out of the furnace, but Conan is on one side and this guy's on the other side, so we're gonna try and fight our way out. Okay, break out from the furnace. My my guys, having put their little little modem on the on the objective, came running out with the dynamite and lobbed it at, through the door at your Terminator. It gets uh, six shots. Ooh. Pretty big boom. Six sticks of dynamite in that little stack. Yeah. If I fail one of these, he just explodes. <laughs> Oof. Blammo, he explodes. Went right down the hole in his zoom. Not expecting that. I just picture it's, you know, like one of those magnetic mines and you just throw it and it lands on his head and it's just <laughs> beeping. And he's there just like, oh, heck. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Fucking <laughs> oof. <laughs> so this left not much on the table at this point. All we've got left at this point is one Terminator holding an objective, the sister's holding another objective and string it over to press the button. And Conan, that's it for the custodians. Yeah, I had two gene stealers sitting on an objective mm -hmm. and um, the patriarch and a squad of hybrids ready to, to stop anyone coming into the furnace room, but they were all vulnerable in that yeah. furnace room. Mm because it was, and I knew the furnace was being turned on and I was dreading the smell of roasted jean stealers <laughs> wafting out of those doors. They're gonna be pushing that button. So the sisters are fully committed to holding the objective and now press the button as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all just like stood there like, uh, stay close enough. They wanna be, you know, within arm's reach. Uh, but they managed to chain along and then someone can just lean in and press the burn button. Uh, it's getting ready to burn stuff. Right, okay, furnace is warming up. It will cook at the end of the turn. Okay, that's good news. End of your turn. But um, naked guy is behind the other door. What's yeah. behind door number two? Oh, <laughs> it's a naked man. Uh, your romantic date tonight is Conan. And he is going to sword you up, baby. He enjoys swords and long walks along the justice. <laughs> <laughs> and Conan kicks open the door sees a bunch of your guys and charges in. It was all on Conan now. He's, he's charging, he has to save the day. Hello, it's me, Conan. I'm here for our date. I hope you like swords. Yeah, there were five Everyone guys else is busy. in the furnace and he decided to go into the furnace. Well, he's all oiled up. He it's wanted absolutely to just fine. blend these guys into a red mist, which he did. Oh, jeez. Uh, five are dead. Well, there's only four. Perfect. He killed one of them twice. He killed him twice. All right, so... Uh, they're all dead. He did very well. He is very good <laughs> they all at died. killing chumps uh, with his big Huracanus attack, where he like, he kind of just goes in and spins. And <laughs> it's a good trick. Just, it is a good trick, and he just bounces around. Turn on the furnace. Oh, shit. Burn, baby, burn. There's almost everyone in there is already dead. <laughs> but let's yeah. go Disco Inferno. Well, four plus for Conan, then. 
Uh, do you want to roll for Conan? Do you burn him? Four plus. No! Ooh, he's fine. It's all of those essential oils. He's, he's, right, <laughs> he's right on the edge just now. <laughs> yeah, he's right by the door. There's a bit oh, of a, a yeah. fresh air coming in. Uh, your leader. No. no. How do you jeans do that? Neither of us took any wounds up there, no. which was absolutely fine. I think because we had, you know, those two open us. doors. You said, I like how you're now. <laughs> yeah, this is you, Lewis. <laughs> this is Tom. Neither of us. <laughs> Whereas the poor gene stealers. They were ducking behind this cupboard. The gene stealers. Right. So if this... I get two four pluses, this mm. is amazing. Because that will stop you scoring that objective. You won't get the objective. This will be a big one. This is very important if I get a... One finger crossed for each dice. <laughs> Come on, baby. Flames! Oh, oh, wow, okay, so those two gene stealers lurking at the back, licking each other, full goofing off. Yeah, that, that nice nozzle that they were listening, <laughs> licking on the wall. <laughs> mm, it tastes like burning. There was liquid yeah, really. out of it. They thought it was water. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Shit. And they started <laughs> splashing each other with it, just goofing around because the boss isn't paying attention. <laughs> These two are surrounded oh. in flames and nothing happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like this is a like an epic swirling show. inferno. Oh. This is a proper showdown now. There's literally, like, like you say, a swirling inferno around them. It's the two warlords lock eyes. So I've not got, I've got one guy left. Well, that brought you within reach of victory. Because this brings us down to the final moment where actually you're kind of neck and neck for points. Mm. But at the end of the game, Lewis is going to get 10 points because of that objective secured he has in the furnace. So Tom's now only chance for victory is to defeat the Patriarch in a, and then in the final turn, run around the corner and unsecure that objective. Kill my final unit. Yeah. <laughs> Blur. <laughs> Going for it. Uh oh. This is the moment, right? So I need to keep you out of the document shredding furnace room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were very evenly matched, right? Seven it's... wounds each. They're both quite tanky. I've got a lot of spells. I mit I fluff both of my spells going in. No! Mm. Oh, you're smite resistant. Turns out that your Conan is bravely resistant to psychic powers. He's pretty yeah, he's pretty good. It's because he's a big dummy. <laughs> like, can I kill him, actually? Because I'm possible. super, super Three hits. Zombies. The blade guard is hard to hit. He's good at parrying. Yeah. You'll need um, three to, to wound. wound him. But if I roll sixes... Yeah, then each one will do three wounds. Ooh. You ready to die, Tom? No sixes, please. That's a lot of sixes! Oh, shit! Nine wounds inbound! <laughs> oh my god! So the Blade Champion has a four plus parrying ability. Yeah. Like he can just deflect any blow on a four. Why are these dice rolls? <laughs> no, right. This is like streamer luck. Normally. I've never rolled like this off camera your, your in dice my have life. Been hot and cold. Just all never over medium. the place. Have we got some magnets under here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to make at least one of these. Yeah. He's got seven wounds. Seven wounds. Oh, so I need all three. Yeah. yeah. So you need to roll three dice greater than fours. I just need one dice higher than a four. Da, 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 da. Oh. oh. One, two, so, okay, three wounds on him. So a couple of three on him. Uh, so I take three oh. wounds. I think it's, it's more authentic oof. if he's like, if he if he takes wounds to like do a killing oh, blow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, as you stab him with your claw. He just walks down it, <laughs> like it hurts. and then starts chopping. <laughs> the epic showdown. I it, I can't believe it came to that. Actually, it, it got... was a great way to end with mm. the two of them battling one on one. Yeah, uh, I had to kill you that round, mm. and oh, it was close. This is this is for the game, Tom. If you fail all of these, then you die. So it's just one four will do it for me. Oh. oh. <laughs> Got you down to close. two wounds of, uh, of your seven. Which let me take the rules victory. <laughs> hey, you know what? We'll call it the official victory, but... Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, I, you, that secures you the win. However... Well, I still have a game's turn. Game's not over yet. Tom turn left. The game's not over yet. Oh, well, you may have some documents, but you're not leaving this room alive! I was going to have my revenge. Okay. I'm strength six, so I wound you on threes now. I think a few of your arms might be coming off here. Uh, and I get to re-roll wounds. So that's five saves. Uh, but they do one, multiple damage. Each do one they? does three damage. Ooh, yeah. So yeah, I actually have to make all of these. Oh. oh! I lost three arms. 
three <laughs> arms. That was nine wounds. Here we are, it's an epic showdown. The pra Patriarch finally falls, but it's too late. His job is done. Yeah. And the Gene Stealers have made it away with the precious data before it can be burned in the furnace. None of us oh. actually made it out. Not a single, <laughs> I didn't get a single model alive at the end of the game. I haven't got anything else. Your all. literal whole army is dead, but you get 10 currently, Tom's on 30 points and you're on 30 I points. I got my little flag here. Exactly. At the end of the game, if you have an objective in the furnace, you get 10 points. And <sighs> so the little flag, the little like data miner, the little you plugged in yeah. a modem oh, before God. you take it away. The, the USB Bitcoin. stick is just like <laughs> yeah. uploading my bitcoins. You lost your whole army and you still won the game. Yeah, Amazing. just. Amazing. I'll take it. So yeah, thank you for joining us. Mm. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Goodbye. Oh, what a game. That was a good one. It's great to finally play some Warhammer again. I just want to do a special thank you to the members who have supported this channel. We literally couldn't have made these videos without your support, so thank you so much. If you want to continue to support this channel and become a member and get exclusive access to the extended cuts, which are over three times longer than this video, you can get to see every little rules interaction, a whole bunch of extra dice rolls, and just us goofing around generally, then you can. Right now, you can click the link below, become a member of the channel, watch the extended cuts of all the other videos, and some extra little bonus content that we put out there too. So please, check it out now, and thank you.